we now return to the best of the best. Today we're in the kitchen with Tim Spinner, chef and co-owner of La Calaca Feliz and Cantina Feliz in Philadelphia. So we've got a great spread here today. I'm dying to know what we're going to cook. Uh, today we're going to cook octopus skewers, yeah. also known as pupo alambres. Pupo alambres. Yes. So we have a, a nice uh, eight-pound octopus over here, Spanish octopus, because the Spanish octopus are the best. We have some boiling water. We're going to season it with salt, mm -hmm. a little bit of red wine vinegar, nice. some garlic, lemons. A lot of acid. Yes. Acid will help break down the octopus and okay. make it a little bit more tender, and some pickling spice. What's the point of that? You're going to pickle the octopus? It gets some, it gives it like a nice flavor. You know, the pickling okay. spice has bay leaf, allspice, mm -hmm. clove, black Very pepper. Very fragrant. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. A little bit of chili in there. Okay. And you'll pick that up on the octopus when you, when, after it's poached. Great. Now you have that sitting in water or is it just uh, that It's gooey? just the frosted. It's just, yeah, a little, you know, gooey looking, but, uh, you know. Gooey and slimy. Fresh. It's fresh. Very, exactly. So we're going to just invert the octopus. Okay. Over here. What's the point of doing that? You know, it's just when it cooks, it kind of cooks it evenly. I, okay. You know, and I, it's just a method I picked up, and uh, you know, I've always had success with the octopus. What we're going to do is we're going to there's a process of scaring the octopus, and that's basically you're going to dip the octopus mm -hmm. a few times into the boiling water, and it kind of seizes the skin. Yeah, you can on see those tentacles yeah. start to curl up. Because otherwise, if you just drop it in and it starts boiling mm -hmm. everything all the skin's just gonna peel off. Okay. And you're gonna have like a white octopus instead of having that was really nice. That's very uh, interesting. Purple, you know, tentacles. Would have never known to do that. We're gonna cook some pearl onions. All right, great. These are for the skewers. We're gonna kind of intermingle the uh, octopus mm -hmm. once it's cooked with pearl onions and poblano peppers. We're just gonna lightly caramelize these. Okay, so you wanna get some nice, nice and tender. On. Yep. Now while you got some oil splattering over there, I better put my apron on. Don't wanna ruin this beautiful dress that I got over at Knitwit, <laughs> the Knitwit stores. All right, we're, we're going to make our potato puree for the octopus. All right. You know, octopus and uh, potato is just a classic combination. While you're doing that, why don't you tell us a little bit about the restaurants? Yeah, I, I worked for a gentleman named Jose Garces for a long time. Oh, so I think I've heard of him. We were uh, inspired, you know, by his cooking and by his food. And, you know, a good friend of mine, Brian Serhall, him and I decided to open a Cantina Feliz. And, uh, you know, it's it's a modern Mexican restaurant, and then we have La Calaca Feliz, which we just opened in January oh, of this so it's year. Oh, new. And that is a kind of more of a, you know, a little bit edgier than right. uh, than our our sister. What uh, does canteen. La Calaca Feliz mean? La Calaca means uh, the skeleton. Okay. And Feliz is yeah. happy, so it's oh. a happy skeleton. And all around the uh, the restaurant, we have tons of Day of the Dead murals. Right, that's what it means. Day of the Dead artwork. Yeah. Yes. And uh, it's just a really bright, vibrant space. We have a beautiful outdoor patio to nice. sit outside. Nice, in the summertime. Yeah, and there's mm -hmm. a, an awesome magnolia tree back there that mm -hmm. just is blossomed right over top of you. And a uh, you know, nice open kitchen. Is there it's a, a full real, bar? There's a full bar. Good margaritas? The best margaritas. <laughs> it's been awesome. It's been really busy. And uh, you know, Excellent. the neighborhood uh, it's in Fairmont, and the neighborhood's really uh, it's a em great embraced yeah. the, uh, the restaurant. Here we have our potatoes. We're gonna boil them until they're they're nice and tender. Mm -hmm. We're gonna put them through a tammy and whisk in a little bit okay. of cream, a little bit of butter, okay. season them with salt to come up with this nice potato puree. In the meantime, we're gonna make our marinade for the skewers. We have a uh, wahio chilies right here okay. that we're gonna peel and de-seed. All right, now that's to get rid of some of the heat. There's a little bit of uh, heat in them. Mm -hmm. These chilies, believe it or not, are actually a little bit on the, there's, they're kind of mild. We're just gonna toast the chilies. Okay. Now you can toast them on the on the stove or you could just throw them in the oven for, you know, a minute to release some of the flavor in the chili. Okay. You know, you wanna be careful not to burn them, otherwise they'll be bitter. So we're gonna rehydrate the chilies and then what else is gonna go into the marinade? Uh, it's just gonna be a little garlic and a, uh, a little bit of the uh, olive oil and vegetable oil, the, the blended oil that we have. So you could actually probably grab uh, one of the Duro. All right, I got it. And are we gonna use a chili? Uh, yes. Now you see they come individually portioned, so you just want one? Uh, we'll do two. Two? Like a little Go extra spicy today, huh? Oh yeah. It's not Mexican food without a little bit of chili. We'll strain it out, and this is exactly what we come up with over here. Once it's strained, is that oh, nice? Oh wow! Look at that beautiful little, color. Yep. So this is a poblano chili, and we're gonna make just some nice little dice cubes. So this is the already cooked octopus. Yes. We're gonna cut it basically on on a on a nice little bias over here. Mm. We'll start with uh, one skewer of 
or one piece of octopus, and then we'll go into a one of these caramelized okay. pearl onions. Okay. Now, could you eat the octopus like this as is? Is it Absolutely. cooked enough? Yeah. Okay. No, it's great too. If you just marinate a little lime juice, mm -hmm. a little bit of olive oil, okay. uh, you know, some herbs, cilantro. So and when a, we cook it later, it's really just to get a char on it. Nice and, char, yeah. Mm -hmm. So All this right. is served as an appetizer? Yeah, it's an appetizer at okay, the restaurant. Okay, great. Yep. What other kind of things do you have on the menu? Is it more traditional Mexican food, no, tacos? You know, we do have a lot of tacos, yeah. but again, modern, modern interpretations of the sure. tacos. You know, we just do some like, Nice wild truffle mushroom tacos. Oh, okay, and, uh, so something different. A little we French do, uh, influence. Yeah, we have, uh, you know, of course, the, the ever popular fish taco. Or we're mm -hmm. really known for our carnitas. Love so carnitas. We have the, uh, the best carnitas tacos. And then, you know, we do like gourmet nachos mm -hmm. and a lot of different entrees. Now, how long do they have to marinate for? Is this no, a this quick is just marinade? a quick, a quick marinade. Okay. That's it. The color on it. It's just a quick, great. yeah, it's just a quick sear on each side, you know, just a little bit of caramelization. Mm -hmm. Now, what was that that you threw that was on just with a little bit of, uh, parsley? No, nah, just a little bit of parsley. Nice presentation. And what's this on the top? Uh, just a little arugula. A little arugula. micro arugula? Yep. Yum. Looks yeah, great. Yeah. Tim, this looks so delicious. But before we taste, I want to pour us a little bit of wine. We've got a nice light rosé here. So awesome. it should go nicely with the octopus. Excellent. Mm. Wow. The octopus is so tender. And the potato puree underneath, underneath is really nice too. Mm. Mm. The marinade, it's not too spicy. It's not really spicy at all, actually. No, it's just subtle. Mm -hmm. You want the octopus again to shine. You just taste the flavor of the chili. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm. Well, Chef Tim, thank you so much for being on the show today. It really thank was a pleasure. Me. The food was delicious. Excellent. Please thank join you. us again. Well, Thanks. Thank you.